YouTube is Gabriel, just another fan TV. Back at you another video. Let the content of this video, but hit that like button, let the content of this channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Hey, training camp is here. A lot of news coming out. We're gonna start with the first thing, right? Kyler Murray just got paid a lot of money by the Arizona Cardinals, right? We're talking a $230 million contract, $160 million guaranteed, and with the whopping, I believe it's 46.1. Uh, million dollars a season, which makes him the second highest paid quarterback on average in the NFL as it currently stands. Now, uh, for Kyler Murray, good for him. He is deserving of it, no matter what you may think of Kyler Murray, all right? Yes, he's a fringe top 10 quarterback, but let's go over some factors. One, quarterbacks don't grow on cheese. They're hard to find. You can't just say, all right, we'll take Kyler Murray out in. Who was the backup last year? Colt McCoy and put him in. That's not how, that's not how the NFL works. That's not how any of this works, right? Um, Secondly, you cannot uh, undervalue what he means to the Arizona Cardinals. He's the number one pick in the draft. Um, you know, he's a guy who could have played baseball. He decided to play football. His offense is built around him, around his skill sets. Yes, it's a um, Cliff Kingsbury offense, but Cliff Kingsbury hand-picked Kyler Murray. That's who he wanted to play, run this offense, right? So, with that being said, quarterback contracts are what they are. It's not about who's the best, uh, who deserves to be paid the most. When somebody gets paid, that guy sets the market, and now we move on from there, right? Deshaun Watson got 230 guaranteed. Uh, Colin Murray got a $230 million, 0.5 type of contract, all right? It's not all guaranteed, obviously, but that's how it goes. So now what I really wanted to talk about was um, Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is back in the building uh, for the Ravens already. Uh, getting work in. See, the, the quarterbacks usually report after the rookies, about like I mean, like a day or two after the rookies come in. So he's there. I'm sure Tyler Huntley is there as well. Uh, so this is the perfect time for Lamar Jackson and the Ravens to sit down and have quarterback uh, contract discussions. Now, Kyler Murray's contract set a precedent for what I think is going to be closer to what Lamar Jackson gets. All right, Deshaun Watson's $230 million contract was an outlier. Let's be completely honest here. All right, um, fully guaranteed for that amount of money wasn't going to happen for anybody but the Cleveland Browns in a desperate situation. Uh, so they made that happen. All right, now with Kyler Murray, 230.5, 160 million guaranteed. Now we have a baseline for Lamar Jackson, right? So now Lamar has to come and say, hey, look, I know I want 235 guaranteed. I'm sorry, I want 235 for the, for the title of the contract with, let's say, 170 million guaranteed. Okay. Um, now, there's also been rumors that Lamar wants a shorter contract. I mean, we don't know. You know, with, with Lamar Jackson, his circle is so tight that rumors are literally just that rumors. Nobody can confirm or deny anything when it comes to Lamar Jackson and these contract negotiations because his circle doesn't leak anything. Now, we heard that Lamar Jackson, only thing we know for sure is that when we had his uh, press conference at the end of mandatory OTAs, he said that the idea that he was looking to get paid um, – at next off season or, 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 you know, after I won the Super Bowl, I would feel worthy. was not true. He's looking to get paid now. He's ready to get paid now. He, he deserves that. So training camp is the best opportunity because he and the Ravens, Eric DaCosta, they're going to see each other every day for the next month and a month and a half for sure with no real distractions. Yes, you're getting prepared for the season. And, you know, once the season starts, you kind of want to cut this out because you just want to be focused on all ball. But right now, you're practicing, you're getting better. There's still time in a day where you can have these contract negotiations. And I believe he was waiting for a guy like uh, Kyle and Mary to have a more realistic contract that, that they can follow up on. And he has that now. So I think that Lamar Jackson should get signed this training camp. That's what I'm hoping for because it makes sense for the Ravens. And honestly, I think it makes sense for Lamar Jackson too. Just because going out in the free agency, just being an unrestricted free agent, while he could have a, a, a boatload of money there, obviously, he really could, um, it's a risk, you know? You, you never know what could happen this season. So why not lock the money in now? Um, even if you want to do a shorter term deal, that, that, that changes the numbers. But lock, lock the money in now. Kyler Murray has kind of set the precedent for where the next guy should be. So if Lamar wants 235, 170 um, guaranteed with, uh, let's say, uh, 48 to 50. Um, per year, that's that sounds like a good contract to me. Hopefully, Lamar agrees and we can and we can get that get that done. You know, something around those kind of terms. You know what I mean? Um, so shout out to Colin Murray, shout out to the Arizona Cardinals. 
you locked up your, your number one overall pick to a massive deal, a massive contract, which they had to do. They had no choice but to do that, right? Because what's the other option? They're going to start, if they, if they don't pay Kyler Murray, they might as well rebuild. Cole McCoy is not going to take them any further. Uh, he's actually going to decrease their value when it comes to winning. So they paid the franchise quarterback their money. Good for them. I just hope that the Ravens are next in line. And I believe Lamar Jackson and the Ravens will come to an agreement. All right, it's your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.